Hi, it's Gail with Traders Help Desk, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the cumulative delta in multi charts. Since my last post, I've had a lot of requests about how to set it up in uh, multi charts. So, the first thing that you need to do is go to the quote manager window, and that's what I have open right now. And I'm going to highlight the Australian dollar symbol. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to fields to collect and left click. Now I want to make sure that I'm collecting the bid and ask data. And you can apply this to all the symbols by simply checking this box and then click OK. Once I do that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to connect symbol and left click. And as you can see, it now tells me that it's on and it is receiving bid, ask, and tick data. Okay, now that we have a quote window gathering the data, we're going to go in and create a chart window based on cumulative delta. In this case, I'm going to do a gold chart. I'm going to do a 12 minute chart, ask traded versus bid traded. I'm going to do five days back and I'm going to do a candlestick type chart. We can also select use as default so that it will default to the candlestick for cumulative delta. Then I'm going to click OK and it will take a few minutes for it to plot. Now, as you can see, I have the cumulative delta plotted. I'm going to go back in and do insert instrument. Again, I'm going to select gold. I'm going to select a 12 minute and I'm going to do a tick versus down tick. I'm going to make sure that candlestick is set as my default. And I want to make sure because I created my own session template. So I want to make sure I set this session template to the one I use. And then I'm going to click OK again. And as you can see, we now have both the bid, ask, and uptick, downtick. And of course, you can see right now that the market flow is going in one direction, but limit orders totally opposite direction here.